welcome back to my channel welcome back to the ministry corner my name is Sylvia Nontanda so if you are joining us for the first time please click the subscribe button down below to join the ministry corner family to the ministry corner family welcome back guys welcome to another video where we're going to learn and grow together I'm super excited for today's video on today's video we are going to be talking about um, the one thing that you need to practice in order to set up your mind for success so it's basically the one thing that you need to practice in order to have a success mindset I've spent it thinking that doing like three or four things in one go is called multitasking and that actually is gonna add to me being more efficient and me being more effective with my time unfortunately that is not always the case um, I'll give you guys a practical example imagine you are trying to cook and bake at the same time so what you're gonna do is let's say you're gonna start chopping your veggies for whatever stew you're gonna be making while you're trying to um, mix the batter the dough to make the batter for your baking you can maybe do it if you've got automated machines especially for the baking where you could just pour everything in there and then let the machine to do the work but if you are going to be moving from chopping your vegetables to adding stuff and um, mixing your dough you're going to miss a thing or two the reason for that is that your brain is not really designed to multitask um, research shows that 2.5 percent of the people around the world um, are able to multitask efficiently which leaves the rest of us the rest of the world um, to task switching which means that if you are cooking and baking at the same time when you are cooking your brain is gonna obviously need a certain amount of energy to focus on what you're doing for the cooking at the same time when you're switching from cooking to baking your brain is gonna switch off the cooking part and then it's gonna restart the baking part and then you're gonna start working on your baking which means you are constantly switching from one task to the next task and that requires a few more and a few more seconds for your brain to actually work milliseconds for your brain to actually work to switch from one task to another research has shown that switching from task to task is not really effective because you are actually adding more time to one task by switching between two or three different tasks basically you are going to be wondering where i'm getting at with this in order for you to set up your mindset for success you need to learn to focus on one thing at a time focus on cooking if you want to cook finish your cooking once everything is running in the pot and you're allowing everything to simmer or boil or fry or whatever then you can close that chapter for a bit and then you can move to mixing your dough for your baking once you are done mixing your dough for your baking then you can take your batter put it in the oven and once while you're waiting for everything to bake you can then continue on to your next task but switching from mixing the baking dough to chopping your your onions and your vegetables to cook that is not going to be as efficient at the end of the day you may end up wasting time doing those two things at the same time whereas you could have done one finished it and then moved over to the next task in order to set up your mind and your brain for success gosh i said mind and brain the same thing in order to set up your brain for success you need to learn to focus on one task at a time as i've already said remember what i said research shows that only 2.5 percent of people in the world can multitask efficiently the rest of us we switch from task to task and it has been proven again that switching from task to task results in you actually being more tired and it actually slows down your productivity rate which is something that you actually don't want to be slowed down because if you slow down your productivity you may have to then extend your deadline you may have to then move and postpone things instead of you working efficiently by focusing on one thing at a time so what i need you to try and practice is to focus on one thing at a time and that will ensure that you obviously finish important tasks on time and even like those 
not even important stuff like the, the basic things like cleaning your house and stuff those are also important because you need to focus on cleaning if you're cleaning don't clean and do your laundry unless you've got a machine where you pour everything into the machine and then you can focus on, on other things and then basically that you can call your multitasking but at the end of the day you need to do one thing at a time in order for you to focus your attention and your energy onto that one thing that will increase your productivity one two it will ensure that it boosts your, your like it will motivate you and inspire you because you're able to finish stuff within the deadline and then number three it will ensure that you stay organized remember that in order for you to stay organized you need to also plan ahead so planning your tasks at hand and say okay fine i've got three things that have a dinner on this specific date and then you start working on it efficiently in terms of your planning and put it on your calendar and start then like, doing the bits and pieces put together the puzzle which is finishing your work on time that's going to ensure that you are productive you are efficient and you get things done in the record time that you had initially wanted for yourself so the same phenomenon of task switching and multitasking applies to our life's goals so you remember that at the beginning of the year we spoke about setting goals and we spoke about having a vision board for your future you and for your life the same thing applies to that so if you are going to be having let's say for the year you have three big goals that you want to be able to achieve if you're going to try and focus on all three of them at the same time it's not going to work guys let's just be honest it's going to be difficult for you to try and keep up with it i've tried it and i know it doesn't work well it didn't work for me but as we know um only a certain percentage of people are able to do like multitasking in the world so i'm sure if it doesn't work for me for some of you sitting at home watching me it's not it doesn't work for you too so try to learn to focus on one big goal at a time work on that push that and obviously try to achieve that and then the following day you can focus on the next thing remember i said when we're setting our goals you need to break it down into bite sizes so that it's easier for you to tackle baby steps guys so bite sizes so that it's easier for you to tackle and then you know okay fine today i'm focusing on say i don't know finishing like reading three chapters in the book that you want to finish by the end of the of the month if that's your big goal for this month so that means today you're focusing on reading a book so read the book reflect on the book um learn from the lessons that you have learned from the book and then move on to the next thing instead of trying to read the book while you're trying to plan the the, the end event for the same month while you're trying to plan your week um it's it's just not gonna work because you're focusing on too many things all at once instead of focusing on one thing so the same thing as i said it's applying to your goals focus on one big goal at a time because that's going to ensure that one you are able to achieve your goals on the time that you had set out yourself to achieve your goals number two it's going to increase your productivity because you are practicing and you are teaching your brain to focus on one thing and you are teaching your brain the consistency and basically the results of consistency and discipline and focusing and then that's ultimately going to set up your brain for success it's going to then be easier for you to follow the goals that are going to come after that one two it's going to then be easier for you to actually set up time aside for focus activities and focus tasks it could be things for your youtube channel like myself or it could be things for school if you're studying it could be things for your business if you have a business or it could be things for work if you are working um, um full time so learn to focus learning to focus on completing one task at a time or learning to focus on um, achieving one goal at a time will set your brain up for success so that's the one thing that's so so important in order to have a success mindset guys focus on one thing at a time i love you guys absolutely a lot that is it from today so from today's video um it's goodbye from the men's corner um don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to comment and engage and of course check out our latest videos i love you guys bye